thanks so much for stopping by. If you are new to my channel, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post something new. I am going to be showing you a demonstration now. This is, to be honest with you, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. So you're going to be coming along with me while I'm doing this to see if I get the look I want. This little container I've had for quite some time. It's like just like a little wooden cube. And I need some storage up in my kitchen to get stuff off of my countertops. So I thought, you know, why not use something I already have and kind of repurpose it because it's just been sitting here. So the first thing I'm going to do is brush on some brushed metal paint and again it's folk art enamel or folk art excuse me not enamel but folk art and I always have a hard time seeing the color on here oh it's brush black all right so like I said bear with me I'm going to be putting on more than one color and I'm just going to try to lightly go through it because my countertops are granite so I kind of want something that has a mixture of colors in it that will go with my countertop. So I've had you know, different ideas of what I was going to do and then I'm like, oh, I don't know if I like that or not. So here we go. Another idea and we'll see if I like it. If not, I have another one I can easily pull out and paint. But I'm just, because I'm going to be adding some other colors, I'm just doing more like a, I guess, kind of a dry brushing, even though I'm not really taking paint off my brush, but more of a, maybe a distressed look, maybe more of the, the angle or the thought here. So I'm just going to keep turning it and just keep brushing on this paint. So let's, I got it all filled in with different colors of paint. I guess it might end up looking like early Halloween. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. That's why I say you're on this ride with me, and we'll see what happens. Either it's a yay or a nay or a ugh, but see what happens here. And like I said, I just kind of want it to be sporadic so I can fill it in with the other colors as I go. So I have one of those, I guess, speckly colored countertops. It has a lot of different colors in it, but mainly neutrals and the black is part of it. That's why I wanted it to be in there. So I thought I would just stain it. You know, which I could do, or just paint it maybe silver with a more of a rusty color top. But then I thought, well, you know, I just want something a little different, and I can set this on my countertop and get stuff off the countertop. And I do have a crazy dog. If you've seen some of my videos, that. She gets into everything, takes stuff off the countertop all the time. So this way, if I have it up and in something, I'm hoping that will alleviate some of that. We'll see. Not so sure that will work. I will be doing you know, painting the bottom too, but for right now I'm just going to concentrate on the sides and see what I come up with. Now the next color I think I'm going to, I'm going to wash out my brush, is it's also the brushed metal, but it is uh, brushed pearl gold because I do have a regular gold chalk paint to go with this too. But I figure I'll add this in on top. And it's kind of a thinner look. It's not as dominant as the black obviously. So I'm not sure what to expect here. Can you see it? 
look like early Halloween by the time I'm done with it I might say eh, yeah 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 but this is something too that you can keep adding colors to actually I'm going to flip it upside down so I can keep working on it I keep getting paint on my hands which is not uncommon for me Just keep keep working it, working on it. I'm going to try to make sure I get the handles too because I want to make sure those get painted on the inside. I did one for Christmas that turned out really nice, but I did stain it. And like I so said, that might be something where that might be a better option for this. Kind of reminds me of camo. But I'm not done, so never rule anything out till you're done, right? So this might be a ooh yuck project or an oh yay project. Who knows? Alright, so there we go with that. I'm gonna put that down, wash out my brush. this it's metallic gold chalk paint which I've, I've used chalk paint many times but I've not used any of the metallics honestly when I went to buy the silver I didn't even realize that they had metallics so Ooh. definitely different looking the lid back on I think I might need to shake this up a little bit Shake it, shake it. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> it's kind of a funny look to it. I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Like, ooh. Hmm, that kind of looks like. I don't know what it looks like. I don't like it. Kind of different for gold. Have any of you used this color before? If you have, let me know down below. If maybe it's not mixed up well or... Yeah, I definitely don't like this. What's happening? Let's see what it looks like on the base here. Oh, still doesn't look any better. Ugh. to stir it up better. Let's see. You never know when you're buying paint if you've picked up something that's old or I mean it was sealed but it still just had a has a real funny look to it and that's just not normal. Better. Clean out my brush. So 
definitely different. Let's see if it looks different now. Yeah, definitely looks more like gold. Okay, let me clean off this brush. So I'll say that was just a weird, weird shade. I knew that didn't look right. Clean off my, my good brush here. Okay, remember not to, whoops, just get my hands in it. All right, let's see if we can go back over here again, cover up kind of some of this and it might dry funny, but at least it's just on one side, right? And in between these, you know, maybe I should be allowing some drying time, but I'm not. So I say, learn from my mistakes. Don't do what I'm doing. Now this, I am going to cover a good part of it with this. Because I think I might do some sanding on this. We'll see. I think I'm going to have to turn this to be careful because it is still wet. Another thing of it is, too, with something like this, if you don't like it, you really can't stain over it, but you could just paint it, paint it a solid color and go on. So, you know, that's one thing with painting. There's seems like there's always some technique that you can do or some way to fix something if you don't like it. And that's also something that you need to learn as a painter if a mistake is done, or maybe it's not even a mistake, it's just something you're trying and you don't like it, you can always fix it. Or you need to learn how to fix it, I should say. And I tried to stress that with one of my granddaughters and she, when she was little, just could never seem to get that, oh, I messed up, I gotta do it all over again. No, what you need to do is learn how to fix, yeah, I mean, there are times when you have to really start over, per se, but really need to learn how to keep going and that's you know a good thing to learn really for life practical life purposes because how many times do you know do things happen that you can't fix or how many times do things happen and you've got to figure out you've got to analyze it and figure out okay now what do I do how do I handle this situation? That's part of growing up. It's a good thing to learn. And it's just like a performer. If they make a mistake while they're performing, you know what? Don't point it out. Don't stop and make a big deal over it. Just keep going. Ugh. I don't think this is working really well. This might be a trash box. I don't mean holding trash. <laughs> well, it's starting to run because I've put it on so heavily, I think, with that other stuff when I started it. So it's starting to run this other side. If it is on the other sides, then I'm just going to consider it a bust and let it dry and continue on with something else. Let me look at the other one. See, it's starting to run over here. And I think it is over here, too. And I could feel like I'm doing a pouring job. 
Oh, what am I supposed to do? be a work of art by the time it's done. I'm going to go ahead and paint the bottom here. I don't know, for some reason I'm kind of freakish about things not being completely painted. So whenever I do my, if I do signs or letters kind of thing, most of the time, for the most part, not always, depending on the sign, they're finished on the front and the back. So, I know I'm putting this on really thickly. But actually, with some of the drips, it kind of reminds me of the landscape, like hills and, you know, big a creative mind. But I think I am going to allow some drying time right now. And this with the paint chalk should dry pretty quickly. I'm not sure about the gunmetal, or not the gunmetal, but the, what's it called? Brush metal. If it will dry very quickly or not. It should. So I think most of the craft paints tend to dry quickly. If I would have put this on a little thinner, maybe it would have done better. But I just had another thought of another process. It would probably be kind of neat. I actually had a couple thoughts, so I might do those. And on these, I think I'm going to stick some of these other colors on here, too. I did not wash my brush, but with this, I don't think it really matters because it's the bottom. I just like it to have something on it. Could not ever get that tag off, so... Finish this up with the black so it has the same colors on it as the rest of it for now at least. And this swish and black kind of looks different there, doesn't it? It's like there we go. in there. Like I said, just, just for added protection because with my grandkids I never know when they're going to spill something, which is quite frequently. I have one child that comes in every morning and knocks my glass of water off. No matter where I have it, he seems to get it. He even got a Yeti, a Ra Yeti Rambler. And I don't know if I didn't have the lid on it or what, but he got to that too and knocked it off. I'm just like, what the heck? <laughs> Kids are amazing when it comes to that kind of stuff. Not always in a good way. Do you ever do that when you're doing something and you think, oh gosh, I should have done it this way or that way? Well, that's kind of how I'm thinking right now. I am going to wash this brush out. Try to at 
least. All right, and I think I'm just going to go, go through this with a little bit of gold because I know mine on the sides is not looking as harsh as this does. But you know what? I think it's going to turn out all right. I think I like the runs in it. And I did not intentionally do that. I think I like it. You know, everybody's into like pouring and stuff nowadays with the paints. And it's like, ah, oh, I think it looks pretty neat. We'll see. Well. We will see what happens. All right, I think I'm going to stop with that for now. Need to figure out a spot for it to dry. All right, and I will be back with you. It's still not finished. Hi there, this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping back. Today I'm going to be showing you how I finished this wooden box. I'm going to be using it for storage purposes something that I've had for quite some time. I'm not even sure where I got it from, to be honest with you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with this and get it done for you. So I started on another one, and then I decided that, I mean, I liked it and all. It was really good. But I'm going to go ahead and do this one and then decide which one I like the best. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with this, and I was going to do the gold, but you know what? Yeah, I think I'm still going to do the gold, because I did this on the other box too, but it's the Home Decor Chalk Paint with Metallic Gold, and it behaves a little bit differently than what I'm used to, but that's okay. I'm just using a random paintbrush that I have in my house, and... Just going to go ahead and, and put this on. Hopefully you can see. And I'm going to allow it some drying time. And then I'm going to surprise you. What do you think I'm going to do with, with it after that? If you have any ideas, give me a comment down below. And let me know what the next step will be after this. If you have any idea or any thoughts, give me a comment if you would. If you're new to my channel, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and that you, you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch over to something else. Maybe this would be better. So I have a sponge that I like to paint with too and I'm thinking this might be a better, a little more of a, a stained look actually. This is a, a sponge brush that I got a long time ago doing one stroke things and I've used it painting murals because I know on my other box that I painted the paint was running although it was giving it kind of a neat technique or a neat design which I think I kind of really like and can't wait for it to finish drying but I want to go ahead and get this one done and it not have that kind of look I don't know what I did there, but like I said, I've had these boxes forever, and at Christmas time, I wanted to do something special for my table, something a little different. I had some Christmas spirit for some reason this shoot, this past Christmas, which I haven't had for a while, and I thought, yeah, that, that feels good to create something new. They look cute. And I remembered these because I kind of, I do a lot of gloss painting if you follow my channel. But I'm trying to break into some other things with painting. Because I love painting. But, you know, something to interest my subscribers. So if you have any ideas of things you'd like to see me do or give a try, please comment below too. I'd love to hear ideas of what people are actually looking to see. Because that's what it's all about, is doing things, not only that you love as an artist, but that you 
for the people want to see what they're what they're looking for. If you can help them out at all, I guess this, I love painting with sponges. I'll be honest, I didn't even think about it when I was first doing this because I don't know. I feel like I can get a better better coverage with a sponge, and I I do paintbrushes too. But I think I feel like I can do this faster. And it's actually a nicer finish. But they do wear out. Because I've had some other sponges that I really liked. And uh, they do wear out. So, and like I said, I've had this one forever. So I'm not even sure if they make them anymore. I couldn't even tell you. To tell you the truth. Put this on a little bit darker. And I am going to give it some drying time in between coats, but like I said, I'd love to hear what you think I'm going to do next. So I got inspired when I was doing the the other box, I'm thinking, oh, I could have done that. I said, oh, I have another box, I'm going to do that. And I will finish off the inside too, but not right at this moment. I like my bottoms and tops and insides to be done. I just have this sitting on top of uh, wax paper. Just so you know. I'm just going to hit, hit it up here a little bit and try to get around try to get around the hand or finger over areas. The best purpose of this box is going to be to sit on my countertop trying to organize myself this year and get clutter off of my countertop. I'm so tired of my countertops being cluttered. I can hardly take it anymore. This really, 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 really gets me. So last year I spent cleaning out my parents' house. This year I'm hoping to do at least some to my own home. Like me, are you ever amazed that how much stuff you collect? And you know, we moved into this house, we didn't even have furniture for every room. And now it's like we have so much stuff that we can hardly move. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry and we'll move on to the next step. Hi there, this is Amy again. Um, now, the next step I'm going to show you because I, I have let these boxes dry for a couple days and I think I made just made a big boo-boo and erased my film that I did on the other box so anyways starting off really good but if you remember earlier in the video this is the first box that I did and this is basically how it turned out it did have the drips which I liked I actually dried it upside down so that's why the drips are running that direction but my next step is going to be to do basically a technique where I'm just going to put white paint over it and some of the bottom layer will show through because it's just going to be hopefully a light effect and I'm not it's kind of dry brushing but I'm not actually taking the paint off the brush so it might be a little thicker in, in some areas and lighter in others. I'm going to go ahead and proceed with the second box. Like I said, I just I try to clear off my card before I start, and it dawned on me that since my card was still in my video camera, I probably didn't put it into my computer. And I realized that once I had already taken it off. So, my mistake. So basically, the only difference in the other box, and I'll show you it here in a few minutes, is that I used a sponge to put the paint on so it was thinner and didn't have the runs on it like this one would. Plus, I had mixed up the gold better from using initially using it on this box. So, anyway, so you could still see a little bit of the paint. Uh, once you get done with this, you know, you'll still be able to see through it. 
you know, a lot of times you have to start a project and then continue on with it in hopes that it turns out right. And if it doesn't, then... Alright, sorry about that interruption. I had to kick her out. You might still be able to hear her in the background because she's upstairs barking now, but maybe she's not right in the same room. Anyways, I think... You know, when you first start a project, you're like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I like this or not. I think I like the box more now as I've gone on with it than I did at first. But that's common, I think. A lot of times you can do something with a project. Have something in mind and maybe do a different take on it as you're doing the project maybe come up with something else or another thought that might work better or that you didn't think about to begin with. I have to be careful though because I can't really put this on a slide anymore. But I want you to see. So I'm just basically putting the paint on the brush just a little bit and then just coming on and brushing it. I love this brush better than the other one I was using. These are brushes that I typically use for my my letters and signs that I would paint. Hey, what do you think? Do you like it better now that you're seeing it to this point. If you do, give a comment below. Now, you know, next step could be that you sand it and then just have like some of the edges with just the bare wood color. Like so there's just a variety of things you could do. So many different types of finishes. But that's what's fun. Maybe being able to use your imagination. Alright, I think we have one last side. Now, I'm not going to worry about the bottom. I did paint the bottom, but I'm not going to worry about doing this on the bottom. And I do still need to put do something on the inside, but the inside I'm just going to do, and I'll show you with the other box what I did, just did the gold on the inside. Because again, I, I don't, you don't have to do anything on the inside since you're using it to actually put stuff in but I'm going to this makes me feel better I'm more of an OCD thing but I hope you like this like I said I'm trying to just do some new stuff all kind of painted related on my channel just to see what people like if you have any other ideas or things you'd like to see done, though, as I've mentioned in my videos, please let me know because I definitely would love to show you if, if I know how to do it. If I don't know how to do it, we can learn together. Because I have no problem whatsoever trying something new. It's part of, of being creative. Is that that's not a scary thing. All right. So basically I've gotten it to this point now and I'm not going to show you doing the inside of it but I did on the other video I think but I'm going to go around the top of this and probably just do this since I didn't paint it or I could put the gold on the top and then do this over it not really worried so much about the top of it really going to pay that much attention to it when it's sitting on my countertop if this is the one I end up using. I use both, even though they're different. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? You got a little bit of the gold there, a little bit of the black, and just kind of go around it, just tapping the brush on it, and that gives it a finish. And work on the handles. Not really too worried about those either.
do the best I can to put something on them. So anyways, and I'll take pictures and have it set. This is, well, now I'll be touching the handles wet, but. Okay, so this is what this one looks like finished. And again, you could go around and, and do some sanding to have the uh, bare wood show more of a, a distressed look, but I like it just like this. I think it's pretty. All right, so I'm going to put this one aside. Put this one someplace here. And then I will clean up my brush. Well, actually, I need to put my paint away. But the other one I'm going to do something different with. And I wondered, you know, do you have any thoughts on what that might be? I had asked that in the other part of the video, which I, I'm praying that maybe I did put it on my computer, but I kind of think I didn't. Bummer. Okay, so I put the, the other one aside, and I forgot to mention the white paint that I was using is folk art, of course, home decor chalk paint. It's the white Adirondack. So, and I like this paint because it actually has an odor to it, which I'm not too fond of the odor, but it, it dries pretty quickly. And then what I'm going to do on this box, and I'll show you the box here in a second, is I'm going to use the Folk Art Home Decor Crackle medium and so this one instead of doing like the dry brushing I will actually be painting on it after the crackle medium has dried but this is the look of this is what I'm going to do to the other box is just put the gold paint on the inside of it to finish it off this is what the box looks like I used the hair in there I used a sponge to paint it. As I started to brush it on and it was you know coming on pretty thick again. And I thought, you know what? I actually like to paint a lot of times with a sponge. Not necessarily a sponge brush, but with a sponge like this. And then it gets on it the coat the paint is not as thick and it spreads nice and nice and evenly over it. So I still have the same colors in her mixed. They're just not as prominent because of the way I, I put them on the box. But I'm going to... Oh no, I'm sorry. I take that back. I just did the gold on it. Alright, I'm confusing myself. I apologize. Step back here. I did just put the gold on it because I decided on this one I'm going to do the crackle medium. So I apologize. It does not have all the colors. It just has the gold. Alright, so... I am just basically going to brush the crackle medium on and I want to make sure that I have it on in a pretty good coat of it. Don't work it too much because that's not good either, but put it on. I'm going to put it in the handle areas and then I will allow it to dry and then come back and place the, the same white paint on it not doing the bottom. I'll just do the bottom because I haven't I actually did not finish the bottom because I did the, the inside. So I will come back and do the bottom because like I said before I just I like it whenever I'm doing something to be completely covered even if it doesn't need to be like on the letters that I create and all they're always stained on the back. I don't know why. It just it bugs me for them not to be. So and then when I'm doing this I can see here some dry spots where I didn't get it with the the medium. So I'm gonna make sure that they're coated. I guess and this is just a pretty pretty easy easy decorating design. I like to do this so much because it doesn't have to be and when something is hard to do and make it look really nice, I, I tend to go for the more distressed looks because they don't have to be and they're meant to be not so perfect, if that makes sense. Not that they're not nice or nicely done, it's just that they don't have to be 
And I think when you're doing, especially for me, when I'm doing a, a painting that's just straight one color, it's often as hard for me to make it. I got a lot of hair in this for some reason. I think probably because these boxes have sat for so long and I haven't done anything with them. And I'm putting, to, putting them to use now. Whether I use both of these or one of them, I will put them to use. Because now they're decorated and they're good to go. Or well, they will be once I finish. And I would give this probably a few hours to dry. It probably says on the bottle, but I don't I don't know what the recommendation is. I know that you just don't want to put it on while it's wet because then it just it really just it messes it up. So I've done a lot of this on my my hangers, my bridal hangers, and my letters, the large letters that we create. I've done it a lot on those. And I just pretty much a lot of times just set it and forget it for a day. But you don't have to wait that long. I'll just give it a few hours, like I said. Because you want it to turn out nice, so you don't want it to be all gunked up. And then, not, and then take risk the chance that it doesn't actually crackle. Now this stuff can actually run a little bit, so just make sure that you have something underneath it if you're putting it on real thickly. I really never have had too much of a problem with it once it's run, you know, making it look nice. So I'm not too concerned about that. But the thicker you put it on, it can enable you to have the bigger cracks. And that's one thing with the crackle medium. You just never know how it's going to turn out. Because you could get something that looks awesome. Or you could get something that in some spots isn't actually crackling for some reason. I'm sure there's a reason to it, but I never have researched it. It's probably because I've overworked it or something. Alright, so I'm going to let this be. I don't want to keep messing with it. And I am going to go around the top here. Now, I have to find when I do around a small portion, it doesn't really crackle real well. So I'm not sure if I'm just not seeing it because it's a smaller crackle, but just so that you know, but I want it to, to kind of be finished the same way, so I'm going to go around the little handles a little bit more, it's not a big deal, but again, I'm not crackling the inside of it, I'm just leaving it, leaving it be, and then that's all you do for right now, clean up, definitely make sure you clean up, get this stuff out of your brush good. My camera moved. I'm sorry. I just realized that. It's the only problem with having it hanging above you. I need to work out a bit better method. If you have any suggestions on that, let me know. Because I got this, this idea from somebody else. But they had more of a stabilized method using their phone. And we actually have it on a tripod with wire and it's wired up and hooked above me. So anyways, um, we'll continue on once this dries and then we'll be finished. Okay, now I gave this some drying time and I did have some actual, some wax paper underneath. This was just good because I told you that this stuff would drip. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start brushing on this paint. I'll put it down a little thicker than what I was doing there. Probably should have grabbed a bigger brush. But it'll still, it'll still work. I just got to keep making sure that I don't work it too much. I 
don't want to overwork the paint. And just keep moving with it. Okay, I'm gonna keep going here with it, with this little spot at the top here. concern I'm having now that I'm doing this is the fact that you know this is wood even though I had paint on the top of it you know before I did the crackle it, I'm worried that it may have be it may have actually soaked in too much into the wood I may not get as big of a crackle look as what I wanted I, I see it starting. Sometimes you're truly not sure what it's going to look like until it completely dries. Now you could just do more of a solid painting over it. I tend to do this a lot of times when I'm crackling something is not put as thick a paint on top of it as I could. Like I said, I'm starting to see a little bit of crackling in it. Not a lot. Now if I were to abstain this, I think it would have it would have shown better because I stain wood and do crackling over it all the time. So like that. Found it. I still have to paint the bottom of this. I haven't done that yet. It's funny, each one of them have one side or the inside to do or the bottom to still paint. And I'm trying not to touch that side too much. Now if I were doing this without videoing it, I would have it set up on a box that I could keep rotating it. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more paint over here. Alright, let's keep turning it. I mean, it is crackling some. But even though I put it on pretty thick, I don't think it's going to have big crackles. And I think it's just going to be more of a weathered, a weathered look. And I could decorate it too. I could put, could stencil something on it or write something on it or paint flowers or something. But I think for the purpose of where this is going, I'm just going to leave it. Leave it like this. I'm 
used to be everything I did. I stenciled her because I actually stand out, started out stenciling instead of freehand painting. I didn't know really how to do that. All right, I'm going to finish this last corner like that. And then I'm going to go in here, add some more white. Like I said, the handles don't bother me so much. I just make sure I got it all. And I don't. If I don't, like I said, it's really not, not a big deal. And then I'm just going to go through and kind of did, do what I did before on the other box. Just tip off the top of it with some paint. And since I'm not really concerned about the inside of it, since I will be using it for storage purposes, just to give my countertops a little bit of a cleaner look, I'm going to just leave the inside with the gold. This has been a fun project. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry my voice is kind of crackly, but I've been fighting a cough for like a month. crackling in it. It's just not like a lot. But it did crackle. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm going to take some side-by-side -side comparison photos so that you can see it. And uh, I want you guys to tell me which one you like the best. Alright. Now, if you haven't done this already, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and give me a big thumbs up if you like this video please take a few moments to share it there is a share button underneath the video that you can easily share this on your social medias which i would appreciate it and until the next video i will see you then have a good one